Conversation attributes are perfect for grouping entire conversations based on data points you define. This helps you stay consistent in your reporting and gain valuable insights to improve your customer support. You can create and add these manually, but here we'll focus on the many ways you can automate them to increase your efficiency. So let's get started by creating an attribute from scratch. Head over to Settings, Data, Conversations, and then hit Create Attribute. Choose your format. For this example, let's use a list, which is great for categories that rarely change, like the type of query. Add your options, give it a name, and add a description. You can limit the visibility of this macro to specific teams it's relevant to, and require this attribute before closing a conversation which is a great way to ensure they're added in every single conversation so you have better reporting. Once you're ready, hit save. You can always edit and rearrange the order of appearance later. Let's talk about applying these attributes to your conversations. Under conversation attributes in the details panel, you can manually add values so that teammates can quickly understand how to handle conversation. For example, the customer here is reaching out because of a failed payment issue that's urgent to solve. So in the type of query attribute we created earlier, I'll select payment issue and set the priority attribute to high. Another great tool is macros, which lets you combine replying, assigning, and updating an attribute with one click. Hit Command K to open the shortcuts menu and select Use Macro or click the hashtag key to quickly open the macros menu. Create a new macro or select one you've previously created like I did here. This macro works the same way whether it's used as a customer reply or a note for your teammates. When you press send, the macro will reply to the customer, assign the conversation to the support team, and set the type of query attribute to feature request, cutting down the time I have to spend doing this manually. Now, to keep track of all the conversations with the same attribute, you can create custom views with filters just like this one. Click on Views, Add Views, then Create view. Add your filters like priority is high, type of query is payment issue, and the team assigned is VIP support. Now, all the conversations on the left are filtered by my view, and if any of these filters change, like the conversation gets assigned to the billing team, for example, the conversation will move out of this view, helping you focus on the data that's important to you in real time. A quick and easy way to collect these attributes is to let your customers select them at the start of every conversation so that you can get context on their issue up front. Head to Automation, Basics, click on Get Context About Issues up front and customize what data you want to collect. You can also set rules to reroute or prioritize conversations based on what your customers have selected. For example, if they mark that their issue is high priority and their type of query is payment issue, you can automatically assign the conversation to your support team. Hit save and turn on. For more dynamic automation, use workflows, as they allow you to use more data points, more filters, and more control as the conversation progresses. I've already created a workflow here that starts when customers open a new conversation in the Messenger. Next, I've added branch steps that trigger different actions based on the customer's message content. For example, if a customer's first message in the conversation contains the keyword cancellation, 
then assign it to the support team and set the attribute type of query to cancellation. If their message contains the keywords refund or something else, then follow different actions. This makes it easier to add attributes automatically at scale throughout the conversation. Lastly, you can use these attributes in any of the reports that have it to find insights that are important to you. For example, you can filter the responsiveness report for all the conversations where the type of query is payment issues to see how quickly these issues are resolved. You can even schedule a copy of the report to be sent to you regularly to stay updated. For more information on conversation attributes and other use cases, check out our help guides.